So, so we'll be discussing the topic gold in the slum. And somebody may be wondering here, what exactly is this conversation about gold in the slum? Gold, slum, I mean, gold, slum is not something nice. It's not a place that you want, you know, to be associated with. Slum does not, uh, it's not desirable. But gold is desirable, okay? So when you talk about gold in the slum, in the slum, it, it, you know, it talks about something valuable inside something that is not valuable. That means from something that is not valuable, from something that is abhorrent, you can actually bring out a lot of value. You can, you can actually bring out something that is of so much value, you know, that you wouldn't even be able to believe it. Okay, so today we'll be talking about gold in the slum and you just may be wondering how does that apply to me? I don't want to do the gold business. I just want to do my business, okay? Uh, so just follow me on this journey. Uh, as we take a look at this. Okay, what's the force about goals? Okay, people from time immemorial, people have always liked gold. Even people that can't afford it, you know, they just believe that one day I'm gonna hit gold. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be able to wear gold. All these pandas that I'm wearing, okay? I want to be able to wear gold, okay? Uh, people who use wedding rings, even understand that it's in different levels. That's why you have 18 carats, you have 24 carats, you have, you know, all of that, they are even in grades, okay? So what's the force about gold? Everyone likes gold. Everyone, you know, values gold, knows that it's something that is valuable, okay, it's desirable. Pure gold is virtually indestructible. You know, fire is one of the ways in which you know what is really valuable, what can really stand the test of time. Even fire cannot destroy gold. Okay, gold will not corrode, it's you're not gonna rust, it's not gonna tarnish, and fire cannot destroy it. Okay, and that's why people somebody still told me last week that she was waiting to travel to Dubai, you know, to sell her gold. But since she couldn't go to Dubai, she just decided to sell it somewhere in Lagos. And she got quite some good money from her gold that she has had for several years. Okay. That is why all the gold in this world is still put together. People still melt it, remelt it, and they use gold over and over again. People take their earrings, melt it, and can turn it into smaller earrings. You can put jewelry together and make, refashion it and remodel it. Okay, gold is valuable. It's virtually indestructible. Okay, so once we say something is gold, we mean that it's so important that you can, you know, you can't push aside the value when it comes to uh eating it itself okay so i mean as valuable that as gold is the process that produces it is an extremely intense and stressful process no wonder i mean if it's so valuable if people will steal if people will kill people for it i mean we have watched different movies where oh they kept one one gold or whatever uh in the museum and people go travel thousands of miles to go and, you know, to go and steal it, <laughs> you know, people do very interesting things to be able to lay their hands on gold. Why? Why is there so much force about it? Because the process that produces it is an extremely intense process. You know, and I, I did a little bit of research. I discovered that on, on the average, it takes between 10 and 20 years, or even a gold mine is ever even ready to produce material that can be refined. Can you just imagine that? It takes an average of 10 to 20 years before a gold mine is even ready to produce material that can be refined. I'm not even talking about gold that is already made though. Gold, raw gold that needs to still be refined. It takes a mine. What you can see here is a picture of a mine. You know, it takes 10 to 20 years. It shows you the time that it takes. It talks, you take, you know, it tells you the stress that, you know, uh, happens before gold becomes gold. What you and I can use you know, where's earring, where's wedding ring, where's different things, okay? So gold is, the process of finding is, is extremely hectic. Now, so bring it to our business. When you say something is gold, what does it mean? Bring it to business. When you talk about business, what is it that, that is gold about business? What, what makes, you know, what makes business business, okay? And, you know, it takes me to my next slide, which says that business is a numbers game. Business is about, you know, it's about, it's a game of numbers. If you don't have good numbers in your business, if you are not making good sales in your business, then you are not in business. Then you are out of business. Statistics shows that most businesses 
Over 90% of businesses shut down, okay, that shut down do so within the first two to five years of their coming into business. And most of them will leave business because they are unable to make enough sales, you know, to, to be able to keep their businesses in business. So when we talk about business, it's really about sales. Is a numbers game. What you have to offer, do you have enough people buying it for you to keep coming back to business, for you to make profit, to take the profit from the business to take care of your needs? Are you able to do that? Okay, if you are still following me this evening, to be sure that you know, are following me, can we type in the comment section, it's a numbers game. It is a numbers game. Okay, it is a numbers game. All right, and of course, we're still looking at the fact that, you know, asking ourselves, where is the gold in business? Where is the gold in business? Thank you, Dr. Rita. I can see that, yes, you are following. Okay, uh, okay, yeah, we're together, we're following. Now, when we talk about business, the key element that makes us make the sales happen and make money in our business is this phrase called follow-up. Follow-up. If you are still with me, type in the comment section, follow up, follow up, follow up. I mean, I could talk about follow up every Sunday till the year ends. Follow up is the clincher. Follow up is what makes people make money. Okay. Many of us are excited about our business. We go about sharing with people, but we don't follow up. I was going to spend the next about 20 minutes taking a look at some detail about follow-up and why it is so important for our business, okay? Somebody was telling me last week, oh, that, you know, uh, she, she, likes to, she likes to design something, she likes to produce something, but her major issue is that she's not able to, you know, she tells people about it, I'm say, oh yeah, go and bring it, go and bring what you have, and then she's unable to go back to them and say, okay, that thing we spoke about, she lacks follow-up. No, and, and there are people in the room today who, if you want to be sincere with yourself, you, you would, you would, you know, you would tell yourself, this is the area where I'm lacking. And for many of us, it's follow-up. We share what we have with people and then we walk away. We don't go back to follow-up. We want to take a look at what can we do to ensure that we have a proper system for follow-up and we can really be in business, okay? Follow-up is what helps to close sales. Whether what you want to close is a hundred million dollar contract or a hundred thousand Naira business. What makes a difference is follow up. It does not matter the size of the business that you're trying to close. It matters that you follow up until you're able to close the sale. Okay, so the gold in any business, and network marketing is not an exception, is in follow up. Oh, so people have, yes, the money is in follow up. That's exactly where the money is. But there's a method to the follow up. And that's what we want to take a look at today. How do we follow up effectively? How do we, uh, ensure that we make the money and we stay in business. Okay, so the gold is in follow up. That's where the money is. So we're gonna take about four or five points very quickly about follow up, things that we need to note and, and understand and we can begin to apply and see the results tremendously in our business. We know what follow up is. We share with someone, you know, we share with somebody about our business and then the person shows a level of interest and then we follow up to ensure that that interest is converted to sales. Okay, so the five things that we need to know about follow up. The first thing is that we need to customize follow up, uh, follow up technique to, to, we need to customize it per client. We need to customize it per client. Whether you like it or not, there are some people who, if you are following up with them and you are sending them WhatsApp message, you are really on your own. Hello, if you have any client like that, you can let us know in the comment section. You know, you say, oh, I sent you a message now. I sent you a Skype message or I sent you a WhatsApp message. You need to understand your different clients and what works for them, okay? You need to customize follow-up technique per client. And there are some people who, when you call them, it's not working for them. They want you to send them a message. They will reply and respond to you, you know, as soon as they have a means to do that. So you need to understand the people that you're dealing with and customize your conversation, customize your follow-up technique per client. Why is this important? It's important because different things will get different people's attention. We need to understand, yes, we need to customize follow-up 
technique per client. I will not do a blanket follow-up and say, okay, the way I follow up is by sending WhatsApp broadcasts. It's not gonna work for all my clients. So we need to know that and customize it per, uh, per client, okay? It also works to check their preferred means of communication. That's why business is not just buying and selling. Business is all about building relationships. So by the time you are converse, having conversations with your, with your clients or your prospects, you will know what means they prefer to be reached by, okay? So you will know the means that you know, they would want, like to be reached by. So it's important to customize follow-up uh, per client, have the conversation with them and know which method works best for them. So customize. Now, space out the follow-up. Some people, you know, different people are on dif uh, different uh, levels when it comes to follow-up. Some people are at, the, at two extremes of follow-up. Some people can follow up with fire, okay? They follow up like every morning. When they wake up, they write it as a to-do list. Follow up with this person. They will just follow up. Hello, madam. How far will we discuss? No, 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 nothing that shows the humanity of it, that you care about your client, you just want to close a sale. No, okay? And we need to understand that many times, purchasing decisions often move slowly, especially when the amount that people want to spend is high. So the, for, for a number of people, the, the speed with which they, became interested may not be the speed with which they make payments. I'm sure you can, you can attest to that. I mean, if, you are, if you've ever, ever experienced that a number of times, you can also let us know in the comment section. So many people make purchasing decisions quite slowly, not as fast as their interest is in your business. Okay, so they take their time. They, uh, I can remember somebody who got a weight loss management pack from me uh, last week. Okay, she, he, he got a weight management pack for me and i remember the first conversation that we had you know he literally you know he spoke very bad things about i mean it was a uh, this thing is not going to work i mean that conversation that we had then must have maybe about a year ago and you know sometimes he will buzz me say, i'm considering this thing within the space of about one year i think he has bossed me maybe twice or three times but he, he you know he would get things from me i would check on him once in a while well, he only made his purchase of his uh, weight loss management pack just last week, about a year after. Some people can be that slow in making purchasing decisions. Okay, so follow up is important. Okay, I know what he told, said. Somebody else was already sharing with him about the product, but that he really wanted to get from me, you know, uh, and all that. So, I mean, follow up is important. Is what separates. Is what breaks down. The person's inertia of saying, oh, okay, I'm interested, and, and the decision to eventually buy follow-up does work. Okay, space out the follow-up frequency. What is recommended is once a week. Once a week is recommended, okay? Every day is not recommended for follow-up. And follow-up is personal. Follow-up is not the same as WhatsApp broadcasts. That's not follow-up. Follow-up is personal. That's why I said in the first point, it's customized. Okay, space out the follow-up frequency once a week okay and set reminders it's important you can see here on my slide important reminder it's good to set the reminder so that you can remember oh okay i found that i'll follow up with this person okay so that's the second point the first one we said customized follow-up second one is space out the follow-up once a week is recommended uh and know that people make this purchasing decisions quite slowly few people make it very fast they decide they buy they go but most people are not like that Okay, so follow-up is important. Number three, provide value with each follow-up experience. This is so important. This is so important. I mean, I cannot overemphasize over the importance of this point. Okay, and that's what will make the difference between you and any other person that has told them about what you're offering them. Okay, don't let it be that every time you buzz your prospect or your customer to follow up with them, you are talking about when are you going to pay so that you can get your product. Ensure that every conversation that you have with them gives them more value, gives them value. And value that I'm talking about is not money. There's a lot of value that you can give to people, okay? Uh, that is not money. The truth is that most people don't feel, they don't want to feel like, you know, you're selling to them. They don't want to be at the end of your sales pitch, okay? So they want to, they need to be spoken with in a way that shows that, okay, beyond the fact 
fact that each person wants to sell the solution, or wants to, you know, they need to know that you have value to give. So it's important. They don't want to feel at the end of the sales pitch. So give value. How can you give value? Ask about the business, the work, the family in ways that show that you care. Okay? Always bear in mind and mention the pain point of the customers and what problem they are trying to solve. You're a solution provider. For example, okay, the person that wants to get a weight loss management pack from me, okay? Even before the person gets the pack, the conversations of, oh, have you downloaded this? There's this an app that I use to work. It helps me in being able to, then it helps me to walk and have many more steps so I can stay healthy and fit, you know, not eating late. All of that value has been happening in our different conversations. So this person knows that I'm just not out to push out the weight, manage, weight loss management pack for him. Okay, there's value you can get to, you know, from me. And it's a pain point. The person wants to lose some weight. So I'm offering solution, okay, in the direction of what the person needs. You are a solution provider. So you must find ways to ensure that you're adding value to your customer's life. Talk about an ongoing promo, okay, or a time limited discount that will benefit them. You know, we have promos from time to time. Okay, you can even customize your own promo. And say, oh, this this thing, you know, I'm, we have this for one week, and I think it will be good. Instead of paying what I told about, told you about, then you know, you can pay this, or you can get this in addition. You know, this offer is open this week, so this person knows that your conversation is giving them more value for the money you know, that they're going to pay. So provide value with each follower. I mean, it, it, that's where creativity comes in. Okay, but who needs to know and feel that they're getting value from you, uh, so that their purchasing decision time can be shortened. That's number three. So provide value with every follow-up. Number four, always define the next steps. Always find the next steps. Okay, because people will food drag, because people will want to delay and not make payments. Okay, uh, because people will want to be busy. For example, they say, okay, okay, this conversation will work. Okay, um, let me buzz you next week. Okay, you won't stay with the next week. You say, okay, will Wednesday be fine or Thursday? Get a definite date when you buzz the person. That way your confidence level is high. You know, you'll know that we agreed that I should buzz you on Wednesday. So when we have that conversation on Wednesday, you know, you can confidently say, okay, yeah, this is Wednesday, you know, you said I should buzz you. The person will not say, oh, no, don't disturb you. Oh, I'm busy. Like I said, ah, the person will even say, okay, ah, that's true. Okay, can, can we talk around the city floor? I mean, so ensure, I mean, and that's more professional, keeping things, Specific keeping, keeping appointments, you know, uh, specific and you know having specific times makes you know, these things make you a lot more professional. They make you a lot more organized, you know, and they make you more effective in doing your business. Okay, let the next steps be clear so that the person doesn't to drag, you know, and delays for that in, in making a decision. Okay, and also make your follow-up conversation short. Okay, it's not like okay you are following up and then you are dragging, dragging, dragging. Make it short and sharp. Let the person know that after this, after this call, you know, you need to be able to, I, want, I need to do this and do that. That way the person knows that you're not hanging on him for your next meal. Are we together? You're not hanging on him for your next meal. You know that, okay, after this call, sorry, I have a meeting time. I just wanted to follow up. I didn't want to forget, but I have so people to attend to. The person knows that he yeah, is not the source of your daily so that's important for so a sense of urgency. Make your follow-up conversation short and sharp. That's important. Okay, so it's good to define the next step. It's very important. All right, so uh, that's number four. So number five, we're running very quickly. Number five, this is very important. Know when to stop. This is so important. Follow-up is not forever. Follow-up is not forever. No. No, when you, you just leave this person and know that uh, this is my follow-up, it's not going anywhere. And some people are so they are so very gallant when it comes to it. You give they give you a particular time what they say, oh, okay, uh, okay, can we talk on so so by the time that has happened, how many times? Five, six times. Okay, exactly, okay, exactly what is happening. You know, some people are very they just carry face, they are very good with that. Okay, as a show not successful sales require five follow-ups on the average. So that is your cue there. That is the guide that, that when you are followed up with the same person, personally, I'm not talking about WhatsApp status. I'm not talking about WhatsApp updates. I'm not talking about, you know, okay, 80% of successful sales require 
five follow-ups on the average. So you can use five as a benchmark. Some may fall on six, okay, or some may fall on less, okay, but it's, it's important to use five as your guide so that after five, is this if the, if the conversation has not progressed when you are at number five, beyond how it was number one, I don't think anywhere. I think you should stop and move on to other. Of course, I'm sure that you're following up on many people at the same time if you're in business. But successful sales require five follow-ups on the average. So ensure that you, know, you organize this and have five follow-ups on the average, you know, and you'll be able to record a lot more success in your business. The truth is that many of us don't follow. Hey, we just remember out of the blues and just oh, then let me quickly go back and follow up with the person. We don't have a scientific peak. Oh, this is how I, I do it. And so, therefore, some, some very business is low. You know, we are not organized in how we're doing it. But I think we'll get a lot, no, not that I think, I know we'll get a lot more success when we you know, act, you know, flow in a way that is a lot more uh, organized, that follows you know, this thing. Moving on, and those are the five points. But I have some final points. I have two slides that explain the final points before I talk about. Okay, this is very important because it speaks to you and I personally, what our path needs to be before we can do. Okay, the first thing here is don't be afraid of following up. Don't, don't be afraid of following up. Why? Okay, you're not following up somebody so that you will kidnap the person. Hello? You are following up because you have value to give. So don't be afraid of following up. No one will do anything to you. The worst that can happen is that the person says no. So already, I mean, feel don't be afraid of following. Nobody's going to do anything to you. You are good. You give, you have value to give. Okay. Then also think about follow-up. Begin to retrain your mind about follow-up. Your intentions are noble and your focus is win-win. Yes, you want, but the person who is getting products from you, who is getting value from you, who is probably getting real estate from you because we have a lot of things to offer in the Green Mondays, the person who is able to access uh, bill payment systems and all the different things that we have access to in the Green Mondays is going to get value as well. So no, you don't come to follow up. You are following up with somebody, not because you want to get from the person, but because you have value to give and you also gain value as well. The frame of mind is good. You will follow up gallantly. You follow up confidently, okay? And that's, you know, with courage, you are good. And just know that when we don't follow up, we lose 80% of business, just that, okay? When we don't follow up, we lose 80% of business. I, I mean, just imagine what you're currently doing. In, I, you know, I mean, just multiply. It. Do like a times four of what you are doing in your business is what you're losing. So, I mean, follow-up is so important in our business. Very, very important. So understand that when we don't follow up, we lose 80% of our business. That means we're just struggling with 20%. Imagine what would happen when you have a full hundred percent or even 80% of what is possible, not what you are in, what is possible in the business. Okay, we follow up, the sky is your limit. Why do I say so? When we are successful with follow up, we have more sales and we have bigger business. When we are successful with follow up, we have more sales and we have bigger business. Follow up is important. That's where the money is. Then another thing I would like to say is that you need to be excited when somebody tells you no. Why do I say that? Be excited when somebody tells you no. When a person gives you a no, be excited. Why? Because you're not going to spend the next four or five attempts following up. Somebody has already told you no. The person has already helped you to cross them off on your follow-up list. You know you don't need to expend energy the next four or five times to follow up with that person. So don't take no in a bad light, okay? No helps you to conserve your energy, refocus your energy to people who are showing promise in the direction of your business. So be excited when somebody tells you no. I mean, and the point this we're talking about has to do with our mind and having the right frame of mind. 
when it comes. And it, I mean, it's what we determine how far we go in our business. Okay, people hit, people that hit gold are those who wade through the stress and impurities of rejection, being, being ignored, being labeled, sleepless night, all of that that people have to go through. People that hit gold are those who wade through all of that. And that's a process and goal. You know, refining, refining, getting out value from something that is thoroughly, thoroughly dirty. I mean, when you see gold in its raw state, you don't even want to touch it with a long pole. Okay? So that happened when gold is extracted. Many of those things even affect society. They cause impurities in drinking water. That's to, that's to, that's to show you what happens when gold extracted takes place. So we need to understand that the sky is your limit when you follow up. And this is so important. And I'm sure you can agree. This, if you can apply this in every business that you do, your business will turn around. Be a lot more effective. You will achieve a lot more results. Okay. And you can make it and you can make amazing things happen in your business. Like I said earlier, you're hearing this courtesy of the Green Mondays. I am Tim Tokwa Kiemi. I am a first time manager in the Green Mondays. And I would like to show you if you're a guest us for the first time and you wonder oh this is good stuff that these guys are sharing that is just a tip of the iceberg and you're hearing that in one is uh the green money is a platform you know that has a vision you can see here the green money is you have cars you have money you have the follow that that is good that is lifestyle that's where people want to be after you have you have worked you deserve to rest okay i mean that's what we have you know in the green money when you work you have, you know, you have the right you know, to a life and system is available in the Green Mondays. The Green Mondays has a mission to inspire, to connect, and to empower you to achieve your dreams. Are free, okay? But many people, life has taken their dream from, the, from them. Or well, here in the Green Mondays, working with a like minds, minds that are committed to, to ensure, you know, that their dreams are valid, they tell themselves, my dreams are about what it takes to go, go, go for it. Okay, so our, our mission is to inspire you, you know, to connect you and to empower you to achieve your dreams. And we have a lot, you know, within the Green Mondays ecosystem to help every single one who is a part of this uh, amazing opportunity to be able to reach and achieve their dreams. Okay, and we are really, I mean, for to summarize us in the Green Mondays, we are really all about wellness. And wellness is not just not being physically ill. Wellness is the total package. And I'll be showing you in a bit what to, uh, this evening. Okay, you can see the guy and the lady there, you know, dancing. They are healthy, you know, and they are well. That's what they can dance. And, you know, the, the wellness part, we have the health, wellness. We have wellness in your mind. Uh, and then we have wealth. Okay, I'll just touch a bit on some of the ways by which we're able to uh, make that available, you know, for us through the Green Mondays platform. So from wellness angle, at uh, the health part of it, we have a wider range of products. You can see the, the uh, products here to my right here. Uh, we have a range of, range of products, 100% natural, and we have a growing range of products. Okay, we have the uh, bit products that helps people to remain healthy. Okay, and for those who are battling health conditions, to help them to mop up oxidative stress, and indeed all of us, so that we can live a better quality of health. Okay, and we have, uh, we can see all the products there. We have personal hygiene products. We have packages for, um, we have packages for weight loss management, hypertension. You know, we have, we have tons and tons of health and general well-being. Uh, our quote here is nature's gift of health. Our products are all natural. We have amazing testimonies that are coming by reason of these products. Okay, so we have wellness and wealth. And we have, of course, we have tons of testimonies. I just put a few down here, which I'll just read out in about one minute. Okay, we had people use these products from as many as 17 countries of the world and county. You can see some testimonies here. Okay, pastors were giving a testimony and saying, I'm not going to say much. 
Oh, but I see this product has helped my husband praise the Lord. People that know, they know. Okay, we've had lots of pregnancy testimonies from different parts of the world. We just got, uh, we just got one, I think, on Friday night or so. Uh, someone who's been on uh, our female fertility pack content, and then you know, we have we have we have a baby on the way. We have over twenty babies already, uh, and many counting. We have six menstruations restored. We have bones healed, you know, without scars. Someone had the hot oil and used the product, and the skin you know, went back to full form without a single scar. We have someone from Australia, twin babies. You know, we have uh, that from Australia. COVID-19 recovery and immunity boost from the UK. We have ovarian cysts and irregular menses sorted in Canada. We have POP appointment canceled due to pain recovery from Oshogo. Um, we have skin cancer recovery from JOS, breast cancer recovery from Lagos, skin reactions gone. We have erectile dysfunction handled, happy wife, okay? Which wife would not be happy? <laughs> Someone said my brother-in-law, you know, Parkinson's disease, fibroid strong from Canada. We had lots and lots of testimony from our product. These are just tip of the iceberg of what you know our, our products have done for people. Now we know, I mean, that is from the wellness, physical wellness point of view. We know from the wealth point of view that there are five vehicles by which people can make uh, can become financially free. Five vehicles: we have real estate, automated business, paper investment, intellectual property, and network marketing. These are the five ways worldwide. You know. In the, the five ways by which people can make uh, very good income can become financially free. You can see this motto here, made with money, made with dollars. I, when I saw this picture, I was like, yes, I'm going to use this picture, you know, for this part. And I really like it. Okay, so, and these are the five ways by which one can make income. I'm not talking about green money, I'm talking worldwide. Okay, but you know what? Guess what? Within the green money, out of these five ways, out of these five ways, there are three of the ways available within the Green Mondays platform alone. Can you just imagine that? Can you believe that it's available within the Green Mondays platform? So if you want to build a legacy, if you want to tap passive income, if you want to build something for the long term, you know, Green Mondays is a platform that can help you to do that. Okay, okay, and so these are a few of the benefits available within the Green Mondays. Opportunities for personal growth and development. This is one of the things that we're doing now, Deve developing ourselves, learning so that we can become better, give more value, become rich and well. <laughs> okay, so we have opportunities available in real estate sector as well. You can own a prop, you can, uh, when you refer people to buy the properties, I mean, you can build something in, in the real estate space and begin to earn, become a landlord, you know, and any rent that's available within the uh, the real estate arm as well. Okay, so you have estates, you have travels, you have tours, you have opportunities to save in dollars and digital currency. Because of time, I will not be able to, you know, to go into big detail about that. But if you're a guest and you're looking for this, this, and that, this is an ecosystem that gives you the opportunity to achieve all of that in one platform. Okay, you have any opportunities in telecommunications and bill payment system by buying credit, buying airtime, buying data, paying for my um, paying for my power bill, paying for DSTV and all of that, you can earn some passive income as well. Okay, I was telling somebody two weeks ago, I just checked my wallet, my events went wallet, and I saw 6,000 there, okay, as my reward, you know, some I, from things that I bought, people on my team also bought, I saw 6,000, I said, wow, I just move it to my wallet, I just need to uh, fund my wallet, okay, and that's airtime or whatever. Okay, so then we have network marketing. That's the mode by which you're able to build a team, enjoy leverage, and build a legacy to make a lot more income. Okay, so in summary, here we have health and personal care products and services, travels and tours, real estate deals, spend to end, savings, investment, and many more. Now, talking about the network marketing part of it, you know, I love it because it helps you to be able to build something. Okay. There are many things that we can do, make quick money, make quick money, make quick money there. But here in building a network marketing system, you are able to build for the long term. And in case somebody is here and saying, uh -uh, is it, uh, so how much am I going to be able to earn? This table gives you an idea of what is possible in Naira and also converted to dollars. Okay, this is what is possible with the network marketing part of the Green Mondays business. 
Here we know that we have people who just buy the products and walk away. We have people who buy and then sell. Then we have people who buy, build their teams, build teams of other distributors spanned around different parts of the world. So you have the opportunity to choose your choose. So you choose your pick and say, okay, where, where and how do I want to operate in this business? Okay, so if you want to operate and birth and build other distributors and do big global business, okay, this is what the income potential looks like. Okay, what I'm looking at here, at here is looking like 94 billion over a period of, you can call it 12 years, you can call it, but I mean, let's even say I make 10% of that, that's about 9 billion, that's not bad. Okay, that is what is possible in the course of doing the business. And in dollars here, we have $188 million. That is the income potential, okay? Uh, and depending on how you're able to build, you can make 1% of it, you can make 2% of it. But even failure in this model ensures that you're doing better than 90% percentile of society. So, I mean, it's a no-brainer you know, that you come on board and build with us. The company is just about two years plus old and we are positioned and prepped up and primed up to you know, take the world you know, by storm. We have so much value to give. You saw the, the, some of the testimonies that I shared. I mean, there are too many things to share really, uh, but that's just to sh show you an idea of what is possible in the business. And just in case you're here and asking, okay, 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 this sounds good. I mean, it sounds like something that I want to do. How do I get started? It's very simple, okay? This table here shows you the entry level by which you can come into the business, okay? Uh, we have the highest level, which is the most recommended, which many people that even came at the lower level are aspiring to get to, okay, is the VIP level. Okay, the, the VIP level gives you an opportunity to earn income passively with no activity every month. You're able to earn uh, on 2% of the, of the sales profit, you're able to share in that pool on a monthly basis. Okay, this, that's simply amazing. Okay, so that means that, you know, when you have VIP, you would even be happy. When it's, oh, the business has gone to Germany, you'd be very happy. You need for the business to grow. The business is still in infancy now. But I'm, I'm just imagining what, what will happen in three years, you know, five years from now, the numbers, you know, will gladden the heart a lot more. Okay, so VIP, that's the highest place to be, to come in with, with 750,000. Then we have platinum, where you will also be able to share as well in 1%, you know, uh, sales profit pool as well. So if you are platinum, you're also able to and some passive income as well. You know, we spoke about passive income earlier. Okay, then you have the gold level, which is 140,000. You have silver level, 75,000, and you have the bronze level, which is 40,000 now. Those are the registration packages. Those are the levels that you can come in as a distributor, okay? But you want, if you want to come in and say, okay, I want to get the product, but I really want to do the business, but I don't have 40,000, okay? I have good news for you. There's no limits November. So you can meet with the person that invited you and the person can, help you work out a plan where you can come in at your own level, okay? The, the level that you can afford at the moment, okay? And I've seen people come in at their own level and today, you know, their goals, some of them are almost platinum, you know, a lot can happen with the business because the products are even amazing because the offerings are good because there's a lot of value that people get, you know, anyone who is committed to growth will be able to go and go for more. So if you're here and you're a guest, I would like to encourage you to meet with the person that invited you for this meeting and tell the person I will not let you go until you sign me up. So the person will give you a link uh, and you will sign up with the link. You pay, you can pay tonight. Thank God for technology. You can get your products later tomorrow morning. And you can begin to use the products. I'm going to share uh, the Green Mondays platform, the offerings and different things available within the opportunity. Okay, on Mondays, we have Money Mondays when we talk about savings, investment, opportunities available in, in, you know, in the financial world and how you can maximize. We have Wellness Wednesday where we talk about health and you know, different things all within this Green Mondays platform. We have also different locations also having different meetings, okay? Uh, so you can plug with the person that invited you and ask where are they having a meeting around me that I can be a part of and learn more and grow in the business. Okay, that's possible as well. And then on Sundays, we have Super Sunday like this. It's always my delight and pleasure you know, to be in your faces. And we have different people also join us on Super Sundays. It's not only my face. It's not only, uh, it's not only, it's not only my face you see every Sunday, okay? Uh, 
you see a different on the, the screen. Okay. Uh, so finally, as we wrap up today, I would like to tell the person who is just joining us, who wants to come on board to delay no further. People are poor not because they don't have money in their account, they're poor because they pass over opportunities repeatedly. Okay, don't let this opportunity pass you by. What, you, what we have is an ecosystem that gives you an opportunity to change your life and the lives of those around you. Okay, we have seen people who have come about this opportunity and their lives have taken the turn for the better. They are more value, valuable people. Okay, they are healthier, they are wealthier, and they're helping their environment to be able to turn their lives around. Okay, so uh, that's it in the, in the nutshell. That's it in the nutshell. If you are here and you are a guest, please meet with the person that invited you and let's get together on this journey.